Ah yes, the most iconic, pudgy Italian plumber from Brooklyn, New York City. But in Smash, he is a, just a basic, well-rounded character. Obviously, he is the first character in the franchise. Obviously, he will be the, the user-friendly of every, of every other character in the game, making him have basic moves, also have complex combos. That makes him a decent character. He's not able to kill early, but he's able to rack up a little bit of damage and able to do some nice spicy combos. Also, funny forward air. You can't really hate him and you can't really love him either. But in my opinion, I think they should have taken advantage of the modern um, takes of the character. The modern appearances of the character because, honestly, they could have utilized Cappy in his moveset by either making his, his neutral B or side B. Make him, you make him throw Cappy, and turn his dash attack into the the role that he does in Odyssey, and make his his down air a more accurate representation of the spin attack that he does in Mar Super Mario World. And his neutral air could have been the the spin attack, the spin attack that he does in Mario Galaxy instead of this stupid sex kick that he does that has been over that has been used it has been overused by every single other fighter character in Smash Brothers. He should have he should have gotten a more unique moveset. They have so many opportunities to change his moveset, but besides that he's he's a good character, he's mid tier. Everyone's favorite ape in the video game world. I think he's a great character. Also a very good fucking grappler. He has a great sound uh, his forward air that can that we utilize as an up air, a forward air or a down air. It's amazing the fact that you can carry people off stage and use the down there, which forces people to jump most of the time, which can confirm an easy kill, which is amazing. Um, he has he has a lot of cool moves in his arsenal, but honestly, I think they should have replaced one of his moves with a barrel throw, which is more accurate and more and it represents more t towards his older. Represent his older style games like Donkey Kong, where he threw the barrels at you. And that that shit, I think that would have been great. But besides that, I think he's a great character. I really like the the redesign using the champion's tunic for for Smash. I really like that. Nice representation for the modern design. Something that they actually did right. Um, but honest, but again, you know, like Nintendo, they're always gonna do, they're always gonna fuck up. So they. Kind of like missed an, a huge opportunity to make. Um, and Link uses Sheikah Slate to his full advantage, making him use not only make him also use a square bomb. Not only that, make him use the the stunning ability. I forgot what it's called. Fuck you. But make him use as kind of use as like a disjointed grab or kind of like Mewtwo's down B. Kind of like a stunning, a disjointed stun attack. And the magnet could be like a disjoint, like a tether grab could have been great. He could have been a much more unique character, but honestly he doesn't feel that different from Toon Link and Young Link. He's just a copy and paste of the other ones. The only difference is that he can grab two air he can grab an extra arrow from the ground that he that he shot and to make it to throw it back at, at other people. Creating two uh, two hits. Which is cool, but that's all he can do. The birth of campers in Smash. Honestly I'm very disappointed in her addition as an Echo Fighter instead of an actual character because she has so much in her arsenal to make her a more unique character instead of just a copy and paste of Samus but floatier. Honestly, it's very disappointing. But just because she looks like Samus, she just has to look like she just has to work and, and act like Samus. Fuck you. If, you. if you main Yoshi, then you probably like rubbing your fingers in between your toes and sniffing them. You asked your dad if he could buy you a VR Oculus Quest. So he turned on the TV and shoved your head through the TV to give you a nice VR experience. Fucking love this character. Honestly, the worst fucking character to ever exist in Smash history. No skill required to use this piece of shit. Honestly, honestly Nintendo should have made a special controller that's just designed for Fox. It should have just been a GameCube controller with only the analog, the death analog stick, and a giant A button that you fist fuck because that's all you fucking do as a Fox man. Fuck you. Fucking terrible character. Fuck anybody who plays him. Great character, amazing combos, fun character to play. Fuck anybody who says otherwise. Uh, interesting design choice, but I like the Poltergeist 9000 and like the, uh, like the Luigi's Mansion references. They should make the same controller that I suggested for Fox, but instead of the A button, it should be the B button. 
fucking shit character, you PTSD inducing cunt. The biggest Chad in Smash history. Also, why does he have a gun? This character is amazing. I don't care what anybody says. She is fun. Fuck anybody who says otherwise. Fuck you. Scale issue. Peach is honestly, in my opinion, one of the most hardest characters to ever use or main in Smash. Especially if you want to get, if you want to start doing the, the, what's it called, the fucking float cancel combos. Very hard to do. I respect any person who mains Peach. Fuck you, Peach is better. A great character, great addition to Smash. Great character. But, honestly, the most pathetic villain in gaming history. Dude, he has zero ambitions. All he does is just fucking kidnap a bitch that doesn't even want him. And just gets de annihilated by an Italian who likes fucking pasta. Fucking pathetic. I mean, Bowser, don't you get tired of saving the same bitch all the time and fail miserably? And also, Mario, don't you get tired of saving the same bitch all the time, the same dumbass every single time? Yes, I mean, if I were you, I would just let Bowser split her in two. Like, come on, you're both pathetic. I'm glad they nerfed you, crackheads. Very fun character, I like the combos, nothing wrong with her. Awesome Final Smash. Breath of the Wild Zelda is better. This is Mario if he actually took the Mango their own way route. This is, this is him if he realized that saving Peach's dumbass was a waste of his time and a waste of his energy and a waste of his complete life. And he actually decided to take matters to, to his own hands and actually focus more on his life and his career. And now he is a doctor with a, with a PhD. Awesome character. Nothing's wrong with him. He People say he's low tier. Fuck you. He is top tier. Better than, better than fucking Mario. Better than OG. He has combos a lot cooler in my opinion. He hits harder, he's easier to to KO with. He's so much better. Fuck anybody who says otherwise. You damage yourself while fighting. Pathetic. The same thing I said about Fox goes to you. Fuck you. You're gay. Way better than Morph. Honestly, zero skill to use his character. His combos are so fucking easy. Such a spammable character. Fuck him. His moveset is, is lacking in any personality. Change his fucking moveset. If you ever make a, if Sakurai, if you decide to make him Smash 6, please make his moveset better next time. Make him actually represent his personality and his character overall. He has no personality, no creativeness in his moveset. Nothing. Honestly, Mewtwo is the only character I can say that has the weirdest hitboxes and her boxes in any character overall that can create the worst and fun experiences in Smash history. Best Fire Emblem character. Fuck you. You're ugly. You're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $200. I'm glad they nerfed you too. Never learn how to read. My Chemical Romance Enjoyer. Best Waifu in Brawl. I'm glad they buffed you in the Ultimate. Kill yourself. You're not cool. Three characters in one. Great concept. Fucking love him. Top tier. Superior to Ness, but still annoying. Your moveset is uncreative and washed up. Shit, it's so bad. I can't fucking un I can't stand his moveset. Even though I, re I mean, I like using him a lot. He's a fun character to play, but I just wish that he had a better moveset. His moveset is just overused and it's just uncreative. There's no personality in his moveset. There's no barely any reference to any other games in his moveset besides Spin Dash. Fuck him. Stop using Gordo, you're not good. God, you're forgettable. I, his mechanic is so fucking ass. I can't even en enjoy a second of his mechanic because if I fight against a pro player, he's gonna kill me in 2.5 seconds before I even get to enjoy his rage me mechanic. Fuck you, Lucario. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. What the fuck happened to Link? What the fuck happened to him? This is a disappointment to all Zelda fans. Fuck you. Nobody wants your little fucking PG-13 looking ass bitch. Just leave. You're the least cool person I've ever seen. Stop trying to act cool with your little eye patch and little fucking purple color scheme. You're just a stupid fucking furry. 
Honestly, this character was very terrifying in Smash 4 with his fucking insane edge guard capabilities. But now he's honestly Isabel fucked you up good. You're just you're just a copy of Astro Boy. Hot. Honestly, the most annoying character to fight in Smash, Luma will cancel your combos as fast as cancel culture will cancel you for something you did 10 years ago. You can beat a fat guy by running up a flight of stairs, you can beat Little Man by knocking him off the stage. Very fun character and also a very fun addition to Smash. Nothing wrong with him. Best waifu in Smash 4. I do not give a shit what you say. You can say that Pac-Man is shit. Fuck you. He is not shit. He is the best character in Smash Ultimate. Better than any other DLC character. He has the best combos. The most intricate combos in the world. He has such a wide variety of moves. He has a wide variety of ways to use his moves. By you know, with especially with his hydrant, able to use the water from the hydrants to ref to make a rebound to rebound this neutral B to create insane ledge guards and insane tricks that no other character can do in Smash. He can completely alter his movement by just using side B th going through the hydrant. He is ama he's an amazing character, confusing the fight against. I main him. I love him. Fuck anybody who says otherwise. You lose your moveset throughout the game. Terrible. I'm not really feeling it. Rule 34 is disgusting. Crash should have taken your place. Your moveset is one dimensional. You can't fight against a zoner. You can't. It's, you're terrible. Your move sucks. You're slightly better than Ryu, but the same goes. The same thing goes for you. Soy boy. You have a lot more potential in Smash. There should be more mains for you. God damn. You used to be good when you came out, but honestly now you're very predictable. Your side B is insanely predictable, your down B is practically useless and able and easy, easily avoidable. There's nothing good about you anymore. Your only good thing, the only thing you can do is fucking annoy the shadow people. Fuck you. You're still too big for Smash. Is that He-Man? You should have been an alt for Simon. What a waste of a slot. Honestly, this character used to be very good, but now any combo character can annihilate this piece of shit just because he has super armor does not make you good. If you become insanely predictable and easy, easy to fight against. Get out of my sight. Okay, um, be honest. Um, how big is it? No, I'm serious. Honestly, you were amazing when you came out also, just like King K. Rule, but now you're so fucking predictable, nobody likes you either. You're forgettable. This is a joke, right? Gayest man alive. Hero mains have the biggest egos in any other main in Smash. It's insane. It's crazy. It's asinine. They think they are so good when they are constantly crossing their fingers that they get something like fucking whack. Or they get a good ass move that can annihilate somebody at 0%. It's just pure luck. Just because you got lucky with your RNG does not make you good. No skill. Get better. I really love the trailer for them. They were, it was funny and nice. It was a cool trailer. Terry is a little bit more superior to the Street Fighter characters, but still, he's still just as bad. What a waste of a fucking slot. No one likes you. No one asked for you. Who in their right mind chose you? And why? Why? Why in the fuck did they choose you? Why? Female Byleth, you're cute, but you a hoe. Ching Chong Noodle Arms. Funniest character to ever exist in Smash Ultimate. The fact that you can create an actual dick in Smash as a form of disrespect. Funny character. Also, fuck you. Stop giving your sword steroids. Rule 34 is awesome. Sakurai, what the fuck were you on? Super Smash Flash Sword was better. Best me variant. Um, uh, I practically main him also next to Pac-Man, he's my secondary main. So I'm gonna have a very biased opinion, people like to shit on this character, but I think he's great, his neutral B to up air is confirmed, is amazing. His neutral B to, his neutral B to forward air is also amazing, his neutral B to up air is also amazing, especially the Link variant of his up air is very good. Fuck anybody who says otherwise. Your porn is trash.